still confused between lingualized occlusion and bilateral balanced occlusion? Let's fix that in under 90 seconds. In lingualized occlusion, only the maxillary palatal cusps contact the central fossa of mandibular teeth, minimizing buccal cusp contact in centric and eccentric movements. While in bilateral balanced occlusion, we aim for simultaneous occlusal contacts across both working and balancing sides during centric and excursive movements. Lingualized occlusion centralizes the forces over the mandibular ridge, reducing lateral stress. Balanced occlusion distributes forces bilaterally but may transmit lateral stress. For lingualized occlusion, we use anatomic maxillary teeth and semi-anatomic or monoplane mandibular teeth. Whereas balanced occlusion uses anatomical teeth in both arches arranged with compensating curves. While setting up teeth for lingualized occlusion, we begin with mandibular teeth in the neutral zone and then align maxillary lingual cusps to fossae. In contrast, balanced occlusion demands precise interdigitation and anterior guidance. During occlusal adjustment, lingualized occlusion preserves lingual cusps and adjustments are made to opposing fossae or buccal cusps. But in balanced occlusion, we adjust balancing inclines, cusp tips and fossae while preserving bilateral contact. Lingualized occlusion is great for patients with resorbed ridges or poor neuromuscular control. While bilateral balanced occlusion suits well-formed ridges and coordinated musculature. Hope that helps. Want to learn about occlusal planes? Click the link below and subscribe to Dentistified if you are serious about prostate.